Welcome to my new video students. Today we are going to study the construction and working of integrator and differentiator circuit. So basically an integrator circuit consists of resistors and capacitor and this is the input voltage and output voltage. So the input voltage is connected uh, to the function generator and the output is connected to CRO. This is CRO cathode ray oscilloscope and we can clearly observe a square wave signal here. This is our function generator. Function generator is a source of AC signal that is the AC source. So the AC signal from the function generator is connected to the input of the integrator circuit we can, as we can see here and similarly we can see the resistor is also connected and then we can see the output is connected to the CRO. The output is connected to CRO and we can see the output waveform in the CRO. This is the circuit where we are connecting and we also have a differentiator circuit both in a single board. So first we are going to study the integrator circuit for the 1k ohm resistance. For 1 kilo ohm resistance we, we can trace the curve of integrator circuit. This is the integrator circuit for 1 kilo ohm resistance. Similarly we are going to measure for different values of resistance. This is the VPP. VPP is the distance between the lower and the higher peak. We can see lower the distance between the lower and the higher peak is called as VPP and there is a y axis is VPP and x axis is time period. So next is 10 kilo ohm. So we are going to choose 10 kilo ohm and then we can see the trays. So the trays looks like this. There is some loose connection hence it is showing like that. Yeah. So and this is for 23 kilo ohm resistance. We can clearly see the trays looks like this. So for different values of resistance you just have to trace the curve. This is the output waveform for different values of resistance. As we can see this is the output waveform for 23 kilo ohm resistance we can clearly see in the CRO. Also we can change the shape of the resistance by changing the scale so that we can trace it properly but remember to note the scale. Jab bhi hum change karenge waveform ko scale ko note karna zaruri hai and aise hum trace karenge sara integrator. Now we are going to construct differentiator circuit. Differentiator circuit के लिए क्या करेंगे जो input हमने integrator के लिए लगाया था वही चीज हम differentiator के लिए लगाएंगे और जो output हमने integrator के लिए लगाया था to the CRO उसको हम लगा देंगे differentiator circuit के output पे उसके बाद में जैसे resistance जोड़े थे integrator में वैसे ही dotted lines से हम जोड़ देंगे resistances for differentiator सबसे पहले हम लेंगे 1 kilo ohm 1 kilo ohm resistance पे हम देखते हैं this is the output waveform हम clearly देखते हैं कि output waveform looks like this यहाँ पे हम this is our function generator and उसी तरह हम अलग अलग resistances देंगे जैसे कि 10 kilo ohm दे देंगे 10 kilo ohm देने पे हम clearly देख सकते हैं our waveform looks like this इसको भी trace करेंगे उसके बाद में हम दे देंगे 22 kilo ohm resistance 22 kilo ohm resistance पे this is the output waveform and we can trace this also similarly we are giving 47 kilo ohm resistance the 47 kilo ohm resistance looks like this and this is the trace and next is 100k resistance the 100k resistance Looks and like here uh, we can see the output waveform for the next value of resistance that is 100k so for different values of resistances hence we know the output waveform is the input and this is input for the differentiator circuit and this is our function generator which is used as an ac source here we have sine wave triangular wave as well as square wave ac sources sine wave can be choosed when we choose a sine wave or a triangular wave or a square wave by pressing the button. Sabse pehle hum square wave choose karenge kyunki humare poore experiment mein humko karna hai square wave. Triangular wave ke button ko press karne pe hum dekh sakte hain humara output waveform aise dikh raha hai. Similarly agar hum square wave ko choose karenge to humara output waveform aisa dikh raha hai. Jabki humko poore experiment perform karna hai using square wave so we will always keep it at square. Kyunki humko pata hai ki Integration of sine kya hota hai? Integration of sine hoga cos and differentiation of cos is sine. So waveform looks like that. For different values of resistances, we can clearly see the output waveform looks like this. And ye different values of resistances ke liye output waveform hai. And yaha se hum peak to peak voltage calculate karte hai. Peak to peak matlab lower peak se higher peak ka jo distance hai. Wo hota hai peak to peak voltage. Usko calculate karna hoga yaha pe for this particular value of resistance. Aur usko trace karna hai and you get to know the rise time and fall time also so this is a circuit of integrator and differentiator circuit 
and these are the output waveforms so this is particular case we can uh, trace the curve for one particular case of 22 kilo ohm you can clearly see the circuit connection is already constructed there is no connection to be made just the dotted line has to be connected उसके अलावा इनपुट एंड आउटपुट को कनेक्ट करना है इनपुट को आप सी फंक्शन जनरेटर से कनेक्ट करोगे इनपुट को और सी से कनेक्ट करोगे आउटपुट को और डॉटेड लाइंस जो है उसको ज्वाइन करके डिफरेंट वैल्यूज ऑफ रेजिस्टेंसेस के लिए आप नोट करोगे आउटपुट वोल्टेज दैट्स इट थैंक यू थैंक यू स्टूडेंट्स प्लीज़ लाइक